Hello YouTube, today another video and in this video I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks to make your development uh, easier or make your views look better. So the first tip is how to develop faster. In HomeKit Infused if you define a lot of views the startup will get really slow. When it will get slower the, the larger your setup will become. So what to do when developing so here is my own configuration which is a pretty long file as you can see. If I go and develop a view what I do is comment out all of the views except for one which is the home view like so. Then I'll create a new view and I'll call this one test for example title my test view and I'll add add-ons like so um, uh, test button uh, entities whatever like uh, office so if I restart home assistant right now it will start up much much faster than it when it will have to load all of this config below you can continue doing this with every view that you're going to create so once you're done creating this view, comment it out like so and create a new view until you are satisfied with all the views. Then uncomment everything like you did before, restart Home Assistant and bam, you'll be ready to rock HomeKit Infused. I know the startup will take a pretty long time and there's nothing much I can do about it, but this will at least mitigate the pain of restarting every single time. Well, that's it for the first tip. We'll go on to the second tip and that is to add a screen gap uh, to the cards or a gap better called. And this would look really really good on a smartphone. It would look it will show a little bit less on the desktop but you can see here there is a little gap between the stacks as you can see here and in here there is a little gap and on a mobile phone which I can't show you right now um, or maybe I do I can show you as you can see here it will show you a gap on the sides which is really really nice on a, on a mobile phone to do that all you need to do is add the following lines to your view so add layout and the layout again and then add this part to your view. This will give your view some gaps and will show you a better looking UI on your smartphone. The third tip of the day is a media query and layout card. So a media query can be added to any of the add-ons like you can see here. So if you add these lines it will only show this card on a screen that has a max width of 350 pixels. So it will only show on small screens. This button here, or this add-on here, will only show on larger screens. And that is how you can use media query inside of your add-ons. But there is more. You can also use layout card. And for that I'm going to find one, <coughs> like in here. You can change the layout type for example but you can also um, do some special options like a grid like so and there are so many options that you can do with the layout card to change the layout of your um, of your UI like here, you can see here or for example in here uh, which doesn't look great right now but I'll fix that later on uh, or here, as you can see, really cool. Um, and here, so you can change the layout by defining it uh, through layout card. And the options can be found on the official documentation of layout card because all of the options that layout card has to offer are available to HomeKit Infused 5. And the last tip of today is the custom card add on. With this add-on you can use any card that isn't available as an add-on to HomeKit Infuse 5. 
For example, you go into hacks, and you find something in the front end which you really really like. Some people might like the mushroom cards for example, which I'm going to use for this example. So you can see here, I'm going to look at the information, show me the information, yes. You can see that it will show these kind of cards. But these cards are not supported by HomeKit Infused. However, you can define them anyways by using the custom cards add-on. So I'm going to show you, for example, what I've done with my vacuum. So you start off with adding custom first. So in here you can see the add-on's name is custom. As with all add-ons, there's first a title and then you'll have to define the cards within them. And this is a card that is, for example, not supported by HomeKit Infused, but it still works regardless. I think it's pretty cool. You can use any card you want. Well, that's it for this tips and tricks video. I hope you liked it. And if you did like it, please like and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Cheers.